geography for Tularemia, right? So you think about this in Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma area, uh, which looks similar to Ehrlichia and Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. So I always think about geography. Um, so speaking of Tularemia, uh, the other epi clues they're going to give you are usually rabbits or rodents. Um, you're going to have ulcerative glandular disease. Um, you can get respiratory manifestations if you inhale quite a bit at one time, although that's less common. Um, we diagnose these with serology, so IgG and IgM, or similar Bartonella. If we can get a sample of whatever the adenitis is, we can do a PCR. Uh, the treatment is gentamicin or Cipro. Um, and again, this is also a bioterrorism uh, concern. So you want to alert the lab. This is our friend from Arkansas um, with posterior um, adenitis on his neck due to tularemia. Actually, I don't know he's from Arkansas. I just sort of wanted to reference Arkansas because we see it a lot there. Um, and ocular glandular disease um, we'll see as well. Um, Non-infectious etiologies, lymphadenopathy. So just because you have a large node doesn't mean it's an infection. Um, and um, just because so I have a colleague, Jeff Deo, who is 20 years older than me, but he's going to be talking, uh, I think, tomorrow. We apparently look similar, um, so he looks good for his age. Uh, but just not everything that is lymphadenopathy is cancer either, he'll tell you. Um, so we often have conversations about if it's infectious or non-infectious. So... Um, uh, or oncologic or non-oncologic. So just remember there are non-infectious etiologies, so reactive adenopathy, um, Kawasaki disease, which we're not going to go into detail um, here, but remember Kawasaki disease, you have to have at least four to five, at least five days of fever, um, and then there are five ma major manifestations, right? So there's conjunctivitis, right? So non-draining non conjunctivitis, um, there's mucous membrane changes, um, there's rash, uh, there's peripheral adenopathy, um, and then there's Peripheral, peripheral edema, sorry, and, and unilateral adenopathy. And then you, it's very often unilateral adenopathy. If you have bilateral adenopathy, that's suggestive more of a viral process. Um, sarcoidosis um, and, and Jeff Deo's favorite topic, oncologic.